Hey guys, uh, this is a second video I've put out today. We've been moving the past few days, uh, really the past week. And uh, so we haven't gotten a lot of videos out. I've been, uh, I put a few shorts out with Joe uh, with some older videos that I had not posted before, watching him do some reflex bag work and whatnot. Uh, I'm on a little bit of a roll right now and I'm just going to let it spill. Um, uh, the last video I just put out uh, was talking about being short fused in the aspects of the world today. And I want to talk about something else doesn't get talked about much, at least not in the circles that I see. Uh, and that is forgiveness. Now, when, when I talk about that, I'm not talking about uh, somebody that just keeps doing the same thing over and over to you. Not talking about that. Not talking about the same guy does this to you, then he goes to the next and the next and the next. There's no behavior change, no nothing. I'm not talking about that guy or gal, obviously. And but what I am talking about is, and I. I hope I can get this across correctly. We've got guys online and gals that repeatedly from a higher plane of existence than the rest of us down here talk down to us from a higher moral ground. It's really not ground. It's a, a type of quicksand, but they're standing on shit. And they're wallowing in it while they're up there on that high ground cesspool, peeking down at up the rest of us down here and won't let us, won't let nothing go that maybe we've done and we've all messed up here's forgiveness I am talking about uh, I'm going to talk about the worst ass whooping I ever got it didn't come in the ring it came in the street I got in a, I was drinking one day oh boy this has been 30 or 40 years ago and a group of us guys was sitting around and we were drinking and me and one guy got into it and I got the best of this guy by a long shot, but he came back. When he came back, he attacked me so viciously with what I thought was a hose pipe, uh, you know, a rubber hose at the time. Because when he was beating the heck out of me with that thing, it looked like, you know, if you take a pencil and you do it in your hands like this and looks like the pencil's rubber. Well, he had a baseball bat and he was whipping me so viciously with it that it looked like it was a rubber hose. Kind of like that pencil effect. And well, I was busted up good and good and busted up good for a while. Uh... I was all laid up. I was in the hospital. People were coming to visit me, and they were. Uh, and keep in mind, I've grown a lot since then, but no, <laughs> I'm a way different guy since then, but a lot the same since then. Uh, don't drink no more. That's one good thing. Uh, but. Uh, Friends were coming and they were visiting me and they said, this guy's scared, scared to death. Well, what the hell is he scared of? Well, he knows you're coming back. He's scared you're going to kill him. 
I said, you go back and you tell him. I don't want no more of what he gave me. And uh, no more of that. We were both wrong in this thing. I don't want no more of what he gave me. And I don't want to give him nothing else. And you tell this man, I forgive him. See, that's the type of forgiveness I'm talking about. Talking about forgiveness where you you know somebody, they did something 5, 10, 20 years ago, and you're still holding it against them. And they probably didn't even do it to you. But you're going to sit down on that high moral ground judging us. And you need to come down off that high horse. Because let me tell you something. If you took some time from that higher moral ground to uh, read a Bible, you'd understand <laughs> you you do that Jesus basically gave a ministry to talking about how bad you are. So. That's why I don't pay no attention to folks who are like, well, this girl did this eight, 18 years ago. This guy did this seven years ago. Uh, this guy was uh, 16 and did this. I don't care about none of that mess. And neither should you. And if somebody starts doing that, you need to, there's a button down here and it's a hide user button on YouTube. Uh, on Facebook, it's a block button. Uh, they come in different varieties, but get rid of these people because they're not worth listening to. They're not worth your time. All of us have fell short constantly. Uh, you'll fall short today, and if you don't understand that, boy, you got problems right now that I would be in the hopes that you can get figured out because you're you're a lot more sick than others that you may claim are sick or messed up. So, uh, uh, I just want to say that I hadn't picked a drink up in years and years and years and years. But, boy, I used to be a drunken sailor almost every day. Uh Every evening, you finish you finish work, you finish doing what you got to do, you finish training, you finish this, you finish that. And for me, it'd be running to, uh, to drink. I was miserable. I couldn't go to sleep unless I was drinking. And see, I had to let those things go, you see. And uh, I haven't drank in decades. They have no intention on it. And as a matter of fact, God's took the taste, the want, all that away from me. But I did some things that were unbecoming, that I'm not proud of, that I know my dad wouldn't be proud of, my grandfather wouldn't be proud of, my son wouldn't be proud of. But those things are gone. Don't confuse. It's amazing to me how quick, like you can stand there and you can uh, claim to uh, Christianity or whatever higher moral ground by whatever basis that you choose to do that. And you want to sit over here and bring this guy's past up, that gal over there's past up, things that maybe they've done. Uh, and like I said, you're who Jesus was preaching against and upset with the most. I call them idiots without a clue. And they're not worth the time of day. So if you run across these people, they're going to sit there, hash somebody's past online and craziness like that. Now, there's degrees to it. Uh, if somebody's warning you about that person over there and uh, 
there I'll just say they rob people uh, they hold people up at gunpoint and rob them and this was three days ago and they've done it 45 times yeah take to take heed to that so try to figure out what I'm saying here it's not very complicated at all but people that dredge up somebody's past uh, be careful. I mean, yours could be dredged up, you see. And nobody, you don't want that. You don't want that. Uh, there are people that have done one, I mean, just complete 120s. Just a, a complete circle in or a 90 degree turn. And heading upwards like a ship. And then there's people that want to drag them back down and uh, they'll come out. They'll, they'll tell us about things they've done in their past and the hopes to help us. Uh, and there's different degrees of what people have done, all of us. But uh, people that are coming out, uh, giving warnings, hey, don't do this. I did this and I messed up. Uh, Instead of breaking that person down, because I'm telling you, that, that person has the courage of a lion. Now, a little weasel will run around and uh, try his best to steal the lion's food. He wants to keep, keep all lions from doing the right thing. And they're the little weasels, the little moles in the ground. And they're very jealous, they're very wicked, and they're very aplenty. And uh, don't listen to these people. And when they rear up out of that mole hole or that weasel den and start doing their moling or their weaseling, hit that button that just gets rid of them. Because that's what I do. Uh and move on take a man at his word if he comes forward and gives you tells you i did this i did that and i don't want you to do it i want you to learn from my mistakes you don't have to carry this with you commend that because that's a line right there the weasel and the mole will run hide what they've done and the weasel and the mole will come out and try to tear the line down every time because the weasel and the mole wants everybody to be a weasel and a mole with them. See, that's how that works. And nobody needs to uh, go through life like that. They're miserable. They're pathetic. They're always losers. Always falling short. Always blaming others. Always looking at somebody else's shortcomings or faults or their past and things like that well the king of all kings the lord of all lords erases the past and i think we as people need to start erasing things too if somebody tells us something let's learn let's take it to the forefront of our head to into our hearts into the fiber of our being so that we don't make the same mistakes and be on our hands and knees thanking the good Lord that a line stood up and told us. So that's my take on that. If you're out here, you're running around, you're getting on here, you commenting on uh, anybody's social media, trying to drag somebody down, trying to drag people down that, love other people why don't you build your own ass up to where somebody will come to you and be wanting to uh be your friend or look up to you and get out of the weasel and mold demolition business because it serves no purpose other than satanic purposes so i just want to let everybody know that quickly <laughs>